Hey guys, how's it going? Burstfight here, bringing you another video. And welcome to episode 85 from Burst Fighter Challenger. I'm your host, Burstfight. Today we're playing Twisted Fate in the mid lane, up against a Diana, actually. So, kind of an annoying matchup. Essentially, she has CP, so what she's going to do is she's going to try and, like, trade really heavily early, shove us in, use all her mana, all her health, I'll think I'm winning my lane, then she TPs back and kills us. So, ultimately, we're just going to not give her the time of day. We're going to go, hey, you know what? You want to play Diana, you want to play TP, what we're going to do is we're not even going to trade with her at all. We're just going to farm, we're just going to relax, we're going to get level 6, and we're going to go bottom. Because bottom is squishy, bottom has no escapes, um, and bottom will die with Brand Kaisa as well. So, definitely going to be winning this game uh, very easily. <sighs> so, without further ado guys, let's get into the lane. So, in terms of how I'm going to approach this... Just because I am ranged and she's melee, uh, I'm going to go for level 2. But after that, I'm just going to relax. So First couple waves, sure. She might have started Q. Diana's not meant to start W, but she might have started Q. We're not even going to trade with her. We're just going to shove the wave. Might even just blue card just to like guarantee the fast push. Get that level 2. That's all we need. I'm not looking for anything. You know what? Diana's like, hey, you want to order me? You want to get some free orders off? Nope. No thank you. So just relaxing, trying to get as many of these, there's the W, okay. Now we can auto her, oh, doing absolutely nothing. Asserting our dominance with that auto attack, Diana's like, hey, you can auto me again, I'm like, nah, I mean, I could, but do I, but am I gonna? <laughs> okay, getting hit by the Q there, we gotta focus, we gotta focus, that was pretty sloppy. Waves pushing into us, we're just gonna relax, there we go. Nice. Nice. Alright, so we have missed one CS, but and we got hit by two Diana Qs, but apart from that... Oh, make that three. Uh, we'll just use a pot now. Apart from that, though, we're doing pretty well. Uh-huh. Just out of habit, I tried to uh, trade with the Diana there, but we're just going to relax. Looks like our bot lane going to go down. That's kind of annoying, because our level 6 plan was actually end up there. So obviously we don't want them falling... Too far behind. Diana just going to be shoving us in, and we're fine with that. We're like, hey, you know what? You want that? You can have it. You know why? Because we're superior macro. <laughs> She's looking for the Q, you can tell. Um, I'm just going to throw our own. Actually, she didn't W that. It's kind of greedy from her. So she's going to be very salty right now. She's just looking for a Q. So we're just going to keep farming. Keep CS and just relaxing. Throw in that Q. There it is. One CS at a time. There's her W. She's just doing the same thing to us. She's just farming. She doesn't mind. She wants to get level 6. I want to get level 6. Uh, she wants to get 6 so she can kill me and Kane. I want to get 6 so that I can kill bot lane. Looks like Yi is top. Just going to relax. Uh, in terms of the scalings, obviously we do have it. right? We've got Twisted Fate, Kaiser up against... Uh, well, nothing really. I suppose Master Yi. Um, and maybe Diana, but not really. Um, Vayne obviously not great in the late game. So, we should have this pretty comfortably in the bag, especially if I can just literally, all I have to do is just gold card vein, like ultimate gold card, and she's just dead. She can't hide in stealth, because obviously my ultimate, and uh, yeah, so. Good, looks like top going down, we're just going to walk up here. Did she just cue that, or is that just a visual thing? I don't know. Okay, so ultimately, it looks like top is winning. That was an okay trade because she walked up for it. She's basically begging for it, so I'm gonna give it to her. That's what she said. No. <laughs> okay, um, I guess we'll just go for the melee here. Dodge the Q. Throw our own W. We're doing some damage now, so we can actually start chunking her out. Or well, if that Q hit, if that Q hit, go red card now because we know she doesn't have a W. Now, this is the trades. This is what we want. Looking very, very good indeed. Cool. So 34 CS to 37. Losing a little bit. As to be expected in this lane. It's quite difficult. Um, Diana, once you get 6, definitely going to have a lot of kill pressure over us. Whoa, we walked into that one. The animation on that Diana skin is really odd. Ah, uh, don't think we're going to get that. But still, you know, we tried to assert our dominance a little bit. She's going to live on 50 health. 
that's uh, unlucky. Maybe I should have waited till I had like a blue card or something. But regardless, uh, it looks like he is down there, level five. We're just gonna shove this lane out as you do, because why not? Speaking of which, okay, I'm not seeing anything, so looking pretty good. Just gonna back off here, recall. We're gonna be rushing Ionian Boots, we've taken Stopwatch for that very reason. Uh, usually, of course, you take the Magical Footwear or whatever, um, but we're going here so that we can go Early Boots. Um, can't really afford anything, so we'll just go this because it makes us tankier to the all-in. We could have like sold this and waited for, or sold a pot and waited for like Sapphire, but no need to, honestly, like it shouldn't make that much difference. Oh, maybe we should have, maybe we should have, because then we could have had better like, combos or whatever, but oh well. Um, yeah, maybe I should have just sold the pot. Oh well, it doesn't matter. No, I'm gonna miss that one. Cool, so we've split up our dematerializer pretty well. We're gonna have no issues way of clearing for the rest of the game. Uh, but now Diana's level 6, so this is a whole new set of issues where we want to roam and she wants to kill us. So we just really have to, even more so than before, to make sure we are not getting hit by those Qs. Ah, okay. I tried to do a bit of a greedy dodge there. Oh, looks like Marcy here. Actually, interestingly enough, we're just going to go on to him. Cool gonna get a free kill for ourselves looks like diana chasing me but not gonna give her anything ah did brand miss his son i can't get the gold card off no uh, don't know what happened there so it's gonna chill nice 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 looking good Okay, Diana back in mid, she can still kill us, it might look deceptively, fuck, if that was a blue card, then I could've just, that's actually really big, I might have to just leave these, oh no, I got another one. Far out, I messed that up so hard, I'm playing like so bad mechanically, but that's fine. I could've got a bit more greedy for the Diana in the bush there, like warded earlier, gold carded earlier, etc, and we would've killed her, so... Couple mistakes coming through, but the most important thing is just not to get tilted, just to remain confident, focus on what I can do, not what I've done wrong in the past. Because uh, I am going to be, you know, um, starting from today, I'm going to be like watching my replays and things, which I probably should have been doing from the start. So I don't have to worry about analyzing during the match, I can just do that afterwards. So, Right, Diana up against Twisted Fate. Um, two's missing, so that's dangerous. I might done on my ult to follow. Um, but she was quite low, and we're keeping up in CS, we're probably only, like, one wave behind her when she comes back. Oh, never mind if we keep missing free ones like that. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Looking for this blue buff now, hopefully Kane can give it to us. Brand lagging, unfortunately. Wait, they stole our blue, that's actually so dog. Looks like we're running bot here. I don't know my ult, but if you know if we can get something that'd be good. Oh, Yi's here. What the hell? Okay, focusing the Yi. I want him to kill our entire team. Looking for the Vayne. Gonna get her. That's a pretty good little. A uh, little thing there, so we're gonna go back to mid. Obviously getting shoved in there. Uh, Kane should probably have just come mid with us and killed Diana to be honest, but he wants to do dragon, that's, you know, that's his thing. Excellent. Uh, so we just need 1100, so 200 more for our Rod of Ages. Probably a little bit ahead in levels actually after that. We just have to make sure we don't get all in by the Diana. Whoa, she is definitely looking for it. Look how aggressive she's walked up. That means Malphite's probably here, right? I've got my flash just in case the Mal I think Malphite's here. 
Boom! The snipe coming through. But I think Malphite's here, and we've got our flash. Like I'm, I'm ready on the flash. Um, should I use stopwatch or flash? I think flash, because stopwatch doesn't. Whoa. Okay. Well, Kane just got a bit caught out. I would have actually been able to dodge it. I put my finger on the button, but I saw the direction um, that the Malphite went in. Like so, I was ready for that. I did have the, the my finger on the button. That's good. Looks like bot lane gonna head back bot lane. I'm gonna recall and get my Rod of Ages. Um, versus their team, we might actually just rush Zonyas. Usually, obviously, you wanna go Lich Bane, but I feel like in this situation, they have so much dive um, that Zonyas is just gonna be better for us. Uh, am I greedy? Yeah, I'm greedy. We got Stopwatch, so I think it's fine. Yeah, I think Stopwatch is actually okay. All right, so it looks like Kane gonna hold mid. We can maybe kill her here with my ult. If he engages, no, he's not going to. I mean, whatever. I think his cane is pretty bad. He obviously showing up. Ah, I got hit by that. That's the first Q I've been hit by since she got level six, I think. Anyway, looks like Malphite looking to roam again. Ugh. Okay, Diana missing. This is dangerous. Because Yi, we already know Yi is fine. We're just sitting in a bush. There he is. Okay, that's the first time Diana's actually managed to get the engage onto us, but this time it's a bait. Is just chilling over there. Hmm. We know Malphite probably has his ult still. Ah! Oh! I walked into that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. It's actually so annoying. I have my stopwatch and my flash. I just didn't react in time. Ah. That's so annoying. Okay. Looks like Kaiser's going bot. Garen's pushing mid, so I'm going to head top. You want to always make sure your top, mid, and bot are in different lanes and your jungle's in the jungle because jungle has jungle item, which means he clears better and also he gets the bonus XP from it. Um, also, you know, you don't want to have mid and ADC in, in the same lane because you have three carries that want CS and you have three lanes. So if you have two in one and one in the other, that means that one lane's not going to have anyone or it's going to have the support or it's going to have the jungler. So you want to always be split up if you can. Obviously, there are some situations like let's say you're playing uh, Fiddlesticks mid or, or not Fiddlesticks, let's say Anivia. You don't really want to be in a side lane on Anivia because otherwise your uh, team will get punished for that pretty hard. So up against this Malphite, all we got to do is Zonya's the ult. Fairly simple mechanic, it's very easy to read. Just going to try and shove him in with our range advantage and our wave clear advantage. He looks like he's he's walking pretty aggressively up. There's a bit of a fight happening bot, but we won't have any say in that because we have Ignite, not TP. Uh, Malphite's still up here with us. So we have to be very, very careful of the all-in from him. We've got finger on the button, just ready to stopwatch his ink. Fuck! I pressed the button instead of my Q. Ah! I shouldn't have put my finger on the button. Damn it! Oh my god. I actually, I don't know why I suck so much at this game. <laughs> Whatever. focus just picking these uh, little things up cool we're basically out playing ourselves at this point versus the Malphite so Ugh. okay right I'm gonna go back to base now pick up our blasting wand oh we could actually just clear another one I don't know Malphite's here but we've still got our flash or whatever no use is E now Oh, 
Wait, he still has his ult. Okay, well, whatever. Interesting that Malphite didn't just ult, like, immediately. Okay, Pike missing his R there. Diana's still alive somehow. Garen. Jesus, that damage from Garen. 5 and 0. And that's good because that means there's 3 top, right? So we can take Dragon and probably get bot tower and things. So that's good. Also, remember our bot lane outscales. So every. Like, we outscale as a team. So every second we are, you know, going even top 1 for 1 like that. Or not even 1 for 1 because it's 3 for 2, whatever. We're just winning. So, really good for us. Okay, so it looks like Garen is top, Kaisa is bot, so I'm gonna go mid, the crowd screams, going wild. Um, but in saying that, there's a fight top, so I'm gonna head top instead. Uh oh, this Kane is uh, questionable. I feel like if we do lose this game, it'll be because of him. Yikes. Oh, that's a blue card, that's a blue card. Doesn't matter, he would've dodged it anyway. We should be faster than him. He does Mobies, but we should be faster. Damn, if that if that Q hit, it would have cut out his Mobies and he would have died. It's actually kind of annoying. We'll just red here. Right, I'm gonna leave. I got my Lich. We don't know where Malsi is gonna come. We don't know where Vayne is. Oh, we know where Vayne is. Malphite as well. Ah. Uh... Nice, silenced him and then stunned him. Brilliant, brilliant job by the Garen. This Garen is playing really, really well. I'm very happy with how he's playing. Nice, hit that Q on uh, on the Diana. Whoa. Get the fuck off him. Okay, Malphite's here. Malphite's 100% here. So, I'm leaving. I'm out. Okay, I'm lied. I'm lighting. I'm lighting? I lying. I lied. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna go down to the year, unfortunately. Ah! We should have left. Okay, he's gonna get shut down by the cane, actually, which is really good. Because now. Because the thing is, cane went shadow, which is good. Um. Because one, they're all squishy, except for Malphite, that's good. Um, two, he's going to do shit tons of damage. Even though Yi scales better than Kane, 100%, Kane is definitely for mid game. Uh, Yi is like a late game hyper carry or whatever. Um, Kane can neutralize the Master Yi, right? So he can just one shot Yi before the fight even starts. Like, even at like 50 minutes, like this, for example, if he can just one shot like Vayne or Master Yi, and that's what Shadow Kane does. Oh no, he misses Q. Oh no, no, no. Oh, Kane! Oh my god! So you see that? So even though this Kane is terrible, the champion can still, like, do some work, right? Now, it looks like Kaisa's mid and Garen's mid, so I want to go bot, but there's actually a fight going down, so we're going to head there. Uh, we got our ultimate, obviously. Oh, well. She goes down before we can actually arrive, so that's unlucky. Cool. Malphite missing it from bottom, so we don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Ignite him early. Get him locked up. He's looking for an ult. Gonna go down. It's a terrible Malphite. You can tell by his name he's coached by LF. That's why he said that. Um, I'm dead, but it was worth it because I said that. Um. <laughs> ah. I'm dead. But anyway, so that was uh, that was really good at the start, but then we all just kind of died. So unlucky. Garen wasn't there, and Kane is just terrible, so... Nothing we could really do there. 3, 4, 10, doing okay. So top, top one, I debatably won. I think I won. Like, I've had way more impact than she has, and I'm a level up. And then uh, bot lane obviously won. So we got three winning lanes, a shitty jungle, but, I mean, as, as long as we can just eliminate the, um... Who did the damage there? Was it just the Yi and the Pike? Yeah. I mean, Pike's kind of fed, even though he's a support. Like, for a support, he's quite fed relative to ours, so... Definitely, um, if we can just make sure the Pike doesn't assassinate the Kaiser or the Yi, so if we can just protect Kaiser, in other words, 
then we should be fine. So it looks like Kaisi going bot, Garen's top, so I'm gonna go mid. Um, this isn't like proper lane allocation, this is solo queue lane allocation. This is why I always say to people like solo queue macro and real macro are completely different, but in solo queue, basically, you play around where your team already is, you know? It's like, yeah, it's like, for example, if you have a vote and it's like parts of the Caribbean, right? Where everyone votes for themselves and you got five people, one, 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 one. As long as you side with one person, it's better. For example, like if one guy wants to go Baron, one guy wants to go mid, one guy wants to go bot, and you go Baron, then suddenly two people go Baron, right? So you want to just like Baron numbers and statistics and things like this. This Kane is so bad. I could have altered to kill her, but it's not even worth it. Like I flashed, but my flash isn't as worth as my ult. Like my ult can change the game. My flash is just my flash. Like I got any boots, so. Interrupted by the uh, vein there, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like we turned around though. Nice! Turned around a, uh, a 2v2 bot and then a 1v1 in mid. So, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. TP coming through, probably from Diana. Easy peasy. I'm gonna recall. So we've got enough for now our Fiendish and also our Seekers, so we're going to pick those up. Excellent, excellent. So Kaiser bot, Garen top, so we're going to go mid. <sighs> got a doctor's appointment XD, because I'm a sick boy. No, I'm not. I'm going on this like uh, three week sort of like camping course or whatever. It's like a, uh, it's called Outward Bound in New Zealand. It's like a leadership course or whatever, so I'm going on that. Got a scholarship for it somehow. I don't know, by playing video games, I got a scholarship for it. So uh, I've been, you know, training for that. So I got a medical just to like make sure I'm all good for that shit. Uh, gonna go bot here. Malphite is just shoving it out. Pike's over here. Okay, let's go, let's go. Marcy is the focus. Excellent, eliminated them, brilliant. Now, next thing is we have to push mid. Let's push mid with Kaiser. push mid. Push mid with Kaiser. No, Kaiser. Kaiser. What are you doing? Oh my god, this Malphite sucks. Coached by LS. He's clearly coached by LS. This, this is a fucking perfect example. This is a perfect example of LS's coaching right there. Fuck me. Absolute trash. At, remember that name, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be hard to gold for a long fucking time. And so will I. So I don't know. I can't really talk shit. Um... <laughs> Alright, we're leaving. Oh wait, are they gonna go for that? They're so greedy. Wait, they're so greedy. We can punish them. Easy! Fucking easy! Uh oh. Alright, let's leave. Time to go, time to go. We got that down quite low. Oh yes, I think we got it below the threshold. I think it's 1100 that it stops respawning at. So that's actually really good. Oh. 1064, what? That's a weird number to respawn at. Isn't it 11? Maybe I'm trolling. Uh, gonna go for our Void Staff now, obviously. Pretty standard. Uh, we could go Rabidons, but we feel like, you know, we're not gonna get that much gold. Like, it's gonna be like, you know, 400, 500, 800 recall each time, so. Better to go for something like a Void, better components. Also, you know, uh, Void is just cheaper for like the same sort of stats. Yeah, he's looking to turn on us, that's fine, we just throw our Q. We're looking for Baron now, because we saw that Eve was bot, Pike's here, that's fine, don't fight him. No need to fight him there, so that's pretty dumb if, if Garen does go for that. We want to just shove mid and do Baron, so that's uh, what we're going to plan on doing. Pretty standard, just shove mid, do Baron, but team isn't here. It's whatever. Just gonna show top here, so just shove it out. Kane, if you can kill the Yi, can't though, unfortunately. Hopefully Yi used his ult. I'm not gonna assume he did, because Kane is terrible, but hopefully he did. Oh, well, he didn't have his ult quite unfortunate for the Kane. Well, not unfortunate, he's terrible, but you know. Alright, so we're just chilling top. We're wanting them to like start the Baron so that we can just kill them. 
or something like this. We have to hope that this bush isn't watered, because if it is, we are fucked. Malphite's bot, Garen should go deal with him, because I can't deal with him anyway, even though I have TP. Well, not TP, I have ult, but you know. Uh, no one's dealing with fucking Malphite. Garen, you're a split pusher. Fucking go deal with him. Jesus. I don't understand, like, look at the map. Malphite's been bought like the whole time. Whatever. I'm just gonna go take Krogs now. Oh god. In caught out in the rotations. That was all Garen's fault. If Garen just went bot and then the team went Baron, then we would have got a free Baron or a free bot or something. But Kaiser getting caught out there, just terrible. Looks like we're gonna have to defend the mid push now, so I'm gonna have to recall. But it's okay, I mean, I have 1300, so I can buy my Blasting Wand. Anyway, actually, you know what? Fuck it, I'm actually just gonna go Needless because. There's no point building components for a void if the game might be decided before I finish my items, so... This will make me the strongest I can possibly be right now. I could have actually just gone, like, Blasting and, um... Thingy? Could I? Yeah, I could have probably gone Blasty and Elixir. Because this is 60, and that would be... 40 plus... Something. 50. Team dead. Unlucky. Better jungle wins. XD. Ah. Let me just double check that pot thing. So 50 AP, yeah. So 50 plus 40, 90. So yeah, that would have been better actually. I probably should have just done that. Okay, nice. Nice. Vayne's top side, but we don't give a shit. Let's just go Baron. Let's go Baron. Where's Vayne? Don't know where Vayne is. We should just go Baron with team, but team isn't here. That sucks. What the fuck is that? We can't two mana cane, we need the team. So, they go for inhib, tank, I didn't even realize we could take it. Um, so I guess it's fine, as long as they don't get punished for it. It's whatever. Looks like Vayne's coming top, but I can 1v1 her, so it's fine. Cool, so we can just Baron now. Or we can just reset. The team's probably gonna reset. Cool, looking for the Malphite here, coached by LS by the way guys. Clearly a really good player. You can tell he's really good because he's playing Malphite and he's inting. That's how you can tell he's a really good player. going down. It kind of sucks because like there isn't really anything to Zonia's. Like I guess Zonia's the Diana Q but it's so quick like you can't really see it. So Okay it looks like they're going to end or some shit. Um, I think that's really dumb. Like I don't think they can end. Like yes Garen's super fed but Vayne's up. Kane's here so maybe he can try something. Nothing there, just waste his flash. He's probably gonna die now to Malphite. This is just really messy and unnecessary. Unnecessary, you could say. No, you shouldn't say that. It's fucking retarded. Um, we're just going Rabbitons now, I guess. And we'll go uh, Elixir as well. Okay, we should just do Baron now. We can just Baron. It's like a free Baron. I don't know why Garen doesn't want to do it. We got Kaisa Shred, we got TF, we got Garen. Like, we should just do this for free. Uh, it's just sitting there like enemy can't contest it because we win team fights so hard and they have no vision um we do it really quickly they're shoved in they have inhib down like it just makes too much sense we have a level 17 garen it makes too much sense um right but obviously it is solo queue so you know there's no point if we just start it by ourselves we'll probably just end up dying and enemy team will get the baron and we'll lose so that's the thing you have to do in solo queue you just have to like adapt to your team essentially. Um, so you know what, if they want to play like retards, then who am I to stop them, right? So I'm going to go top here and die solo anyway, just because that's what always happens in these situations. I'm just going to get caught out and killed by the Malphite. You can kind of tell it's going to happen. So, okay, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, called it. Um, and that's going to be me going down. 
Kaisa dying too. Still haven't taken Baron at this point. Level 17 Garen, by the way, guys. Um, enemy team probably going to take Baron now. No, they're going to go deal with top because enemy's pushing top. Why? Just take Baron. It's like, if our team had Baron, it's a free win. If their team has Baron, it's a free stall. And yeah, we outscale them anyway, but like, at least give yourself some chance to win the game. Because right now, if we just have a 5v5, they get destroyed. They can't split push because they have a Diana. That's it. Um, fuck, I thought Garen messed that up for a second, actually. Okay, we should just do Baron. Like, we've had so many chances to do Baron. I'm, I'm sitting on almost 1100, so I can almost pick up my thing. I might just actually, like, literally run top, bang, recall, and then pick it up. I might just do that. I could almost ult top. No, that's troll. No, I'm just gonna run top, pick it up, and then... Actually, I'll go bot. I'll go bot because Diana's there already. So it looks like they're two manning Baron, um, for some fucking reason. Doesn't make any sense. Like... Diana's just looking for solo kills onto either me or the Kaisa right now. Um, so we don't really care about that. Oh, she's staying bot. Interesting. She's level 18 now, and we're still level 17, but we're almost there. It's approaching that point in the game. Cool. Just gonna back off now, get our Rabidons, as you do. Assuming Diana leaves. If Diana doesn't leave this time, then we can just kill her. So, there is that. Picking this up. We'll go a couple pink wards, because why not? We haven't got anything else to buy, and, you know. May, might get a free Baron out of it, you know. Uh, who knows? So, we should really send Garen bot, and then everyone else just go Baron. Because we don't need Garen in the team fights at this point. Like, yeah, we don't really have a tank, but it doesn't matter, because, like, they have Malphite. That's it. Instead, let's get caught out in the enemy jungle. <laughs> That's a much better idea than taking a free Baron. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus! I'm actually like kind of irritated now, a little bit. It's like they're throwing over and over and over and over. Yeah, it's gonna die there. There was no need. <laughs> like I don't get it. We could have got Baron like ten times, man. Ah! This is so annoying. Are we gonna actually lose? I'm actually so mad. This all, this is like every game. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Ugh. Now they have Baron. They could probably try and end. They're just gonna reset, fair enough. I mean, we outscale them, so it's fine. We just gotta like have a 5v5 or a 4v4 with Garen split pushing, but Garen keeps like grouping up and just inting, like straight up. Now Kane's doing the same thing. <laughs> Malphite's also inting, but it's almost like who can int more? Like Kane or Malphite? Or Kaiser? Why not? We can't even do anything now. This is so painful! I'm dead. Ah! We played so fucking well! God damn it. They just entered over and over again, and they wouldn't take Baron for free. I don't understand. Ugh. They just kept inting. No. Fuck sake. God fucking damn it, man. Oh. 
Oh, that's so irritating. That's actually so irritating. Minus 20. <laughs> no! She was silver too! Okay guys, that's, no, oh, fuck it.